Hi everyone, it's Bob. I'm going to visit the last of my friends today. It's his Yorkshire Bob. I'm going to walk there again. It won't take too long. He's a friendly chap, but very old, and he's a bit frail. We have to be patient as it takes him a while to get going. So let's get on our way then. We're going to go ooh, through here. Ah, not that way, this way. And all the way down the steps to the ground floor. Let's get going. We okay. Oh, uh, oh, okay. So now we want to get back to the garden, which is not the garden, the dining room. Here we are. We're on our way out of the building. There we go. There's my beautiful dining room. Okay, we're going to go straight down here. Whoa, into the canyon. We're not going to go up this path because that's the uh, that's the ordinary path. I'm going to sneak around this corner and go on this secret path instead. Well, hey, ah, more pathways. Where do they go? OK, we're going to go up these stairs, these big cumbersome steps. If only I wasn't too lazy to put proper steps on there in the first place. And here we are now. We are underneath the railway station, which mysteriously stands on one leg. Perhaps we ought to do something about that as well. I'm sure gravity won't let us uh, do this indefinitely. There's the mysterious station master's ladder. The mysterious station master that I still haven't seen. Oh, right, I'll catch up with him sometime and I'll say, please can you get some staff in your uh, restaurant there? I'd love to come there for breakfast sometimes. Okay, so we're coming down the path towards Yorkshire Bob. It's a very nice part of the area here. That, you can see his house there up on the hill. It's pretty groovy living on the hill, isn't it, really? Here we come up some more steps. There's a sign. Yeah, Pirate Bob, Glasgow Bob, Dublin Bob. Where does that path go? Well, all right, then it goes off to Bluesman Bob. Up these steps, which I'm sure Yorkshire Bob finds a bit hard. Some kind person should come back and turn them into real steps for him. OK, let's knock the door. How's about that for a sound effect? Hello, Bob. Is that you, lad? Hi, Yorkshire Bob. It's me. How are you today? Eee, I'm really old, lad. You wouldn't believe how old I am. It's right good of you to come and visit such an old man as myself. You're not that old, Yorkshire Bob. You still live by yourself in your own place, and you look after yourself. Aye, I get on all right. It's amazing, considering how old I am. Come in, lad, and have a sit down. Eee, I'm getting very forgetful, though. That's it. Jump on the sofa. Thanks, Yorkshire Bob. This is a nice room. So, do you do uh, much TV watching? Aye, a bit, Bob. But mainly, I sit in the garden and I look at the view. I'll, I've always been one for looking at things. Why is that, Yorkshire Bob? I used to love painting when I was younger. I loved looking at things and people. The more I looked, the better I knew what they looked like and the better my paintings got. Wow! Were you an artist then, Yorkshire Bob? Nay, hey, lad. More of a painter-decorator. Painting pictures were more of an hobby for me. Did you ever try to sell them? Or have an exhibition or anything like that? Aye, one or two. But most folks thought I were daft. What you faffing about up with them pictures when you could use your brush to paint someone's house and make good money, they used to say. It were a bit discouraging. What a shame. That was mean of them. Did you keep all your pictures, Yorkshire Bob? Just the one, lad. I keep it in me attic. I'll show you when we get up there. Would you like to see round me cottage? Yes, please, Yorkshire Bob. Oh, sorry, I nearly jumped on you then. Ah, this is interesting. Is this your kitchen through here? Aye, lad. I just cook myself a few simple things in here. Well, it's a really nice place. You've got everything you need. I just can't get enough of that uh, cooker effect. Do you like uh, Yorkshire puddings? Like mine, Bob does. I think he's from Yorkshire too. He sounds like it anyway. I love them, Bob, but I don't like cleaning the pan out afterwards, so I don't bother very often. Ah, young Miner Bob, he's from my part of the world. He comes round sometimes. He tells me about all the stuff he gets up to underground. He's done some amazing stuff down there, Bob. 
I keep hearing about all the amazing things that Minor Bob has done underground as well. I've been doing some myself. I shall start showing everybody what in the next video. No doubt Minor Bob will do the same at some point. Will you be showing us all about that big tree of yours that you've been so mysterious about? Yep, it's the secret of Bob's castle starting from episode 12. Great things will be uncovered, I hope, or else it will be a huge anticlimax and everyone will be really annoyed. Are we going upstairs then, Yorkshire Bob? Well, I'll just show you my garden first. My back garden, if that's okay. Follow me, Bob. Oh, does this door open? Look, there it does. That door opens as well. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that's strange. I didn't do that. Ah, oh, this is good. Uh, excuse me, Yorkshire Bob, just for a second. I'm just looking at the view from up here. Wow. This is the best thing about living on a hill, isn't it? That you get a really good view all the way around. Aye, Bob, I like to sit on my bench and look down there. See, I got a grand view of Pirate Bob's ship. I had to cut down two trees that were in my way, though. It looks so empty out here, doesn't it? You can just see the ship, but all the houses over here you can't see. All the houses over the back you can't see. It's uh, just countryside. Just think, one day we might have more people come to live with us and there'll be a few more houses out there to see. Not too many, I hope. I prefer the countryside myself. I painted a few landscapes in me time. But you said you didn't keep any except the one in the attic. Now, just the one up there. Let's get up there and have a look, shall we? Come on, lad. Follow me. Yeah. Nice vegetable garden as well. Aye, everything we need out here. There's an underground station by that tree as well, but I don't go on it very often. Okay, up the stairs, very nice views. Pardon me for jumping on your windowsills all the time. This is a really good sized room. Is this your bedroom then, Yorkshire Bob? Well, it ought to be, Bob, but I prefer going up right up the top two flights of stairs to look at me painting before i go to sleep i'm too old really i should stay down here oh, so this is a kind of guest room then pardon me there's just something i must do wash 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 i don't know young people and their foibles i a guest could sleep here i suppose i go up to the attic because me painting brings back memories What's the painting of Yorkshire Bob? Well, it were a lass I used to know when I were young. Was she your girlfriend, Yorkshire Bob? Nay, I never asked her. I admired her very much, but I was too shy to talk to her. Eventually she got married, but I never forgot her. Lisa her name was. Come up the stairs, lad, and I'll show you. OK. There's an even better view up here. Look at that mysterious tree. Next video is all about what's in that one. Here we are in the attic. Good view again. This is a brilliant bedroom. I really like this attic room, Yorkshire Bob. Is that the picture over there? Aye, this is it, Bob. Oh, let's move over and have a look. Wow! I'm really impressed. That's beautiful, Yorkshire Bob. I can't believe you painted that. To think everyone back home said you were wasting your time. It is amazing. Thank you kindly, Bob. It's a good likeness, I think. She's wearing quite old style clothes, isn't she? And the painting looks pretty old as well. Aye, well, a mum were a bit Victorian like, made a dress old fashioned. And I keep telling you, lad, I'm really old. I'm only a young fella when I painted that. You certainly look old when you're crouching down like that. <laughs> Not sure, Bob. You know, looking at this painting, she seems familiar. Are you sure Lisa's picture was never on TV or anything? She definitely reminds me of something. She was just an ordinary lass in Yorkshire, Bob, and I've kept that picture to myself all my life. Well, it really is beautiful, Yorkshire Bob. I don't know much about art. I leave that to literary Bob, but I think it's amazing. No wonder you climb the extra flight of stairs every night just to look at her. Thank you very much, young man. E, it's made my day you like it, my Lisa, so much. I think it's a shame that more people haven't seen a Yorkshire Bob. It's a lovely picture. There's something about her smile. Hmm. In a way, I'm not surprised you never told her how you felt. It's a friendly face, but reserved. 
At the same time, a shy man needs a bit more encouragement, I think. Ah, if you were an enigmatic sort of lass, it took someone a bit more full of himself than I were to sweep her off her feet. What a shame. Just think, Yorkshire Bob, if you and Lisa had got married, you might have loads of pictures of her by now. Ah, it's really quite something. Anyway, I think it's time for me to be going back now. Thanks so much for showing me around, Yorkshire Bob, and especially for showing me your picture. My pleasure, young Bob. It's me pride and joy, that painting. Come downstairs then, lad, and I'll see you off. Wow. Strange, really strange. Deja vu, it must be. Eee, there's Dublin Bob down there. What a mischief is he planning? Oh, sorry, I'm getting left behind. Just enjoying the view out of your windows, Yorkshire Bob. Aye, it is lovely out there, isn't it? Okay, here we are. Should we go out the front and say goodbye? Yorkshire Bob, let's, sorry, let's just go out the front. We can see the great view from the front of your hill then. Eh, brilliant. Okay, so um, thanks a lot. Yorkshire Bob, I really, really enjoyed seeing you today. I want to come back soon just to see you and look at your painting again. Thanks very much, lad. I think I've had a better life just looking at the painting every day and if I'd married her, at least painting never nags. Oh, if Lisa was here now, I think she'd slap you for that one, Yorkshire Bob. Well, I'm going to get off now. I'm going to go back to the station on your railway line. See you soon. Bye, lad. Thanks for coming. Just going to go down here and jump into the rail cart. Nice and quiet. Bye Yorkshire Bob. Oh, he's gone back in. Okay, I didn't actually stop the video because I'd like to talk to Literary Bob about the painting. It was beautiful. I feel quite moved. He's bound to have come over here and seen it at some point because he likes art so much. Okay, here we are at the station. I will jump off. And I'll just nip over. Oh, chicken! Oh dear. How many times have I got that chicken out of the rail cart? And it goes back in again. Look, nice restaurant. Wouldn't it be nice to stop and have a quick cup of tea here? Okay, down we go. And of course, as you probably remember, Literary Bob is the very first platform. But before we set off, let's just nip down here. Ooh. I'm just going to nip down here. Ah, ooh, electricity. Look at that big mysterious tree. Next video is all going to be going to be all about the contents of that. Secret of Bob's Castle, part one. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves off to literary Bob's now. Okay, into the rail cart and off to literary Bob's. I haven't seen him for a while. I'd love to get his opinion of Lisa. He'd know the right kind of adjectives to describe her, all kind of arty, if you know what I mean. I do have a strong feeling I've seen that girl before. Could she have been on TV or something? I'm pretty sure she must have been. I've never been to Yorkshire myself, but if that painting was ever exhibited or shown anywhere, I bet Literary Bob knows about it. There he is. Well, there's his beautiful house. Isn't it fabulous? I think that's one of the most beautiful ones around here, the, the black timber. Mind you, my castle isn't so bad, is it really? Okay, here we come. Look at his trees, aren't they doing well? Ooh! Round the corner. Whee. And down the hill. Oh! Oh no, a pig! Watch out, pig! Ooh! Plip! <laughs> Oh, come on you, off to the station, thank you. Here we go, up to the door. Ah, oh, I'm running because I'm so keen to find out. Okay, there we go. Hopefully it won't take you too long to answer, it's a pretty big house. Okay, ah, oh, hi Literary Bob. Bob, my dear friend, how splendid to see you. You should have said you were coming, old chap. Do come into the library and sit down. Thanks, Literary Bob. Ah, oh, it's great to be in your beautiful house again. Here's the library over here. And let's have a seat. Ah, oh, brilliant. Thank you very much, Literary Bob. It's good to see you in your incredible outfit again. You're very elegant sartorially. Thank you, dear boy. So, 
Uh, how? What have you been up to then? Well, I'll tell you that in a minute, literally, Bob. It's pretty exciting. What have you been up to today? Have you been reading, I suppose? Of course, dear boy. So, what are you reading today then, literally, Bob? Well, uh, yesterday I was reading Fathers and Sons by Ivan Turgenev, a magnificent novel. He's one of the most famous R Russian authors, Bob. Sounds interesting, literally, Bob. I think those Russians get a bit heavy, personally, but I know they're very good. What about today? I sense a bit of evasion in your reply. Well, um, I must admit, I just got the new uh, Ruby Redford book in the post today. A splendid read. I can't put it down. Ah, Ruby Redford, The Schoolgirl Secret Agent by Lauren Child. I love those books. It's very brave of you to admit you like something other than the classics, lit literary Bob. It shows you're not a snob. You see, um, after you caught me with the Asterix books, I realised I had been a bit snobbish. Anyway, Bob, what have you been doing on this fine day? Well, I've just come back to sit from uh, Yorkshire Bob's place. I just saw his picture that he painted of a girl he knew when he was younger. It's amazing, literary Bob, so beautiful. He has real talent, or he used to. You know I don't know much about these things, but I was really impressed. But I'm also confused. I have this feeling I've seen it before. Have you seen it? I certainly have. And you're right about the quality. It's not only amazing, it's a masterpiece. And you must have seen it before, Bob. I thought I had. So have you seen it before, literary Bob? Of course I have, Bob. It's currently hanging in the Louvre Museum in Paris. It's been there since 1797. It was painted by Leonardo da Vinci in the early 1500s and is probably the most famous painting in the world. I'm afraid, dear boy, you've shown yourself up somewhat by not recognising it. Literally, Bob, you're amazing me completely. The most famous picture in the world, 500 years old. I did say it looked old and currently in a museum in Paris. Oh my goodness, so Yorkshire Bob obviously has a copy, does he? Undoubtedly, Bob, it certainly isn't genuine. The name of the painting you might find interesting is called the Mona Lisa. Ah, oh, Mona Lisa. And he said it was his girlfriend Lisa. That Yorkshire Bob is just having a laugh at my expense and showing me up to be a cultural ignoramus at the same time. I'll give him Lisa when I see him next. But that's the interesting thing, my dear fellow. I question Yorkshire Bob carefully about his painting methods, and he certainly knows his subject. He seemed completely convinced that he painted the picture, and the subject was Lisa, the girl he loved in his youth. Weird. He did say he was getting forgetful. So is he having us on, do you think? Or has he genuinely forgotten the truth about the picture? I'm not entirely sure, Bob. I think we must treat it as genuine when we see him, because if he does really believe he painted it, it's undoubtedly the great comfort of his life. It would be unkind to disillusion him. I see. So we have to go round, be nice, say nice things, then one day he'll burst out laughing and say he knew all along, I bet. Possibly, Bob. But I think the ball must be left firmly in his court. One day, no doubt, we will find the truth. Truth will out. You see, that's another moral if, morally uplifting session I spent with you, literary Bob. Well, thanks very much for telling me. i better say goodbye to everyone, as this video is getting a bit long now. Thanks very much, everybody. Let's turn around and face the camera. Hopefully, one day, we will know the truth about Lisa. Next time, it is time for the secret of Bob's Castle. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you're finally going to show us inside that big tree of yours. You know, it has a door in the trunk at the bottom, but I opened it and there was nothing there, just wood. Yes, the way in is secret. Cue spooky sound. Sorry about that. All will be revealed next time. See you then for the secret of Bob's castle. Goodbye everyone. Charmed to see you all once more. Bye.